Haley. I'm going to need your help. Well, it's over. We did it. We caught Kara's killer. I just wanted to say thank you. We owe you guys big time. And it turns out, Randy was a bit of a hero himself. So when Randy came to our place to tell me that he couldn't find any more information on Nirvana's website, somebody who had seen the missing flyers that Slade and I put up all over campus called with a tip. In fact, it turns out that a caller saw a policeman taking Haley down the elevator for disorderly conduct. So, I didn't buy it. And I called Detective Kiedis. And then Detective Kiedis tracked down Detective Delphia using the global positioning system on his cell phone. Uh, that, that's GPS. Kita showed up just in the nick of time. Yeah, uh, actually, it would have helped if he would have showed up five minutes earlier. I got shot. Ow. Ow. Yes, it hurts. So Randy really came through in the clutch. I guess he's not just a tech geek after all. That's right. I am just that good. Yeah, I feel kind of like a superhero. Like a... Like a Jedi. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys again. So, our journey comes to an end. I just wanted to say thank you guys, and hopefully I won't be involved in any more murder mysteries. But if I am, I know you guys will have my back. Thanks. So, I thought I'd take this opportunity to give something back to you guys for all of your wonderful help. I'm gonna teach you how to clean your aura. Using um, an owl or a turkey feather, you want to take said feather and sweep the air around your body and really just cleanse yourself. Just really, you know, just get it all off. Anything that's really, you know, just breaking up the aura. All of the badness, all the negativity, just sweep it off. Personally, my favorite technique is the figure eight motion. It's, it's a really effective one and pretty easy too. Um, the other option is to take an Epsom salt bath. So you're probably wondering about Lexi and Randy. Well, I don't really know if Randy is Lexi's type, but saving lives is kind of a big turn on, even if he is kind of a big dork. Slade, formerly known as Herman, was released from the hospital today. He seems like he's in decent spirits. Although, he acts like he's in pain every time we look at him. Personally, I think Slade loves this sling. Not a bad conversation starter with the ladies. As for me, I'm finally starting to put this chapter behind me. I'll never forget Kara and what she meant to me. Anyway, I think I'm done with this whole detective business. But it was fun, and I learned a lot. Oh, I'm late. I'm supposed to meet up with the gang. And by the way, roses aren't always red, but they're rarely ever black. They only are if you paint them that way. Until next time, it's been real.